Iraqi military has finally declared victory over the Islamic State after two days of postponements. Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi was in Mosul on Sunday to declare victory, a move that was put off as fighting still continued in Mosul's old town. Despite victory finally being declared, Iraqi security expert Ishan al-Shamari notes the process of rebuilding will have intricate challenges, noting that terrorist ideas will not be wiped out only through military victories. Meanwhile, British Prime Minister Theresa May is today expected to address critical issues one year after taking the reins of the Conservative Party. May is expected to launch a report into how the government will protect workers whose Brexit vote showed are concerned they are treated as second-class citizens. The British Prime Minister is also expected to seek help from her political rivals in order to keep her minority government afloat so as to achieve critical reforms. Elsewhere, black smoke pierced skies of Leflore County in Mississippi, where a U.S. military plane lay in flames after it crashed yesterday. Leflore County's Director of Emergency Management, Fred Randall, confirmed that 16 people had been killed in the incident. The cause of the crash is yet to be established, with the U.S. Marine Corps' Twitter handle claiming their aircraft had a mishap. We are not savages. Apes fight only to survive. And in entertainment matters, the movie War for the Planet of the Apes will take a bow as the final piece of a critically acclaimed trilogy with its worldwide release this Friday. The film is described as telling the human story, one where empathy and compassion are fast eroding. We live in a world that is sadly getting closer to, to, being, to reaching a tipping point of not being able to to empathize with other cultures, other people, uh, people of different, of different color, people of different belief systems, uh, different species, the, you know, the way that we relate to the planet. The original movie made its debut in 1968, winning an Oscar for the best use of makeup in the film. I did not start this war, but I will finish it. For Citizen Life at One, I'm David Ayuke.